Hey. Glad you could stop by Dante. You said you had something important to talk with me about. What's going on? I came to ask you why black women are so evil. What do you mean by that, Negro? I mean, every time we black men see a fine sister on the street and try to talk to her, you all give us the cold shoulder. Why can't you just smile or say hello? All I want is to have a little conversation. I see. Well, I have to ask you, why do you think that what you want is important to a complete stranger? Why do you believe a woman owes you her time, her words or her smiles? A woman is not living her life to please you or give you what you want, Nante. Who the fuck do you guys think you are? Well, it makes me really mad when I try to talk to a woman and she ignores me. I'm getting a headache already. What do you do or say when you get really mad? Well, sometimes I will tell her that she is ugly anyway and I was just doing her a favor. Oh. So you really think we believe that? You really think we don't know that you are feeling rejected and trying to save your little bitty we go by insulting a woman you were trying to holler at 30 seconds ago? Well, so what? Black women need to acknowledge us when we try to talk to them. It's rude. Why can't they just be friendly? Why do black women need to do anything for you? Why does a woman you know nothing about need to even acknowledge your existence? Are you that desperate for attention that you hurt us total strangers? You really need to get over yourself. You all on your own jock right now, don't hey? This whole conversation makes you sound stupid. Well, I disagree. I think most women like it when men try to talk to them on the street. It's a compliment. It means she is fine and I want to get with her. I swear, men's selfishness is unbelievable sometimes. You think because you are attracted to her that she owes you something. No, she doesn't. Women get tired of that sheet day after day and day. You think you are the only one doing that? Here in the DC area that is all Negroes do. I've asked a couple of them if them hollering at or grabbing on women on the street has ever gotten them a phone number or a date, and not one of them said yes. So why do you all keep doing it? It's called street harassment. It's so bad that lawmakers around the country are looking at making that behavior a crime. Black men need to get a clue. This will be another way for your asses to get locked up quick, fast and in a hurry. Why would a woman report me to the police for that? I mean, I was just touching her to get her attention. You have no right to put your hands on another person's body without their permission. Her waist, her arms, her shoulder, her hair and most certainly not her ass or her breasts. That behavior is called assault. Didn't you know that? Well, it's no big deal. Why do you women make a big deal out of everything? Oh, so if a big gay dude came and grabbed your ass as you were passing him on the street, you'd be okay with that? If said big gay dude rubbed his dick up against your ass in a subway car, you'd be okay with that? Whoa. Wait a minute here. If a big gay dude started following you down the street calling you a bitch and a hoe and telling you that you thought you were all of that and you really ain't, you'd be okay with that? Wait, wait, wait. If you were at a party and a big gay dude came up to you and got all in your face telling you that he wanted to dance with you and started grabbing on your arm pulling you even while you were saying no, you'd be okay with that? Well, er, no not really. If a big gay dude came up to you while you were walking down the street and asked you if you thought you were good looking, and when you didn't respond to his romantic advances he punched you in the face, would you be okay with that? Hell no. I wouldn't be okay with any of that. I wish some gay chump would come at me like that. Well I gave you that scenario as an example of the types of behaviors women have to deal with from dozens of ignorant fools on a daily basis. Many women don't even like to go out in public in certain areas of the country because they are so tired of men following them, trying to talk to them, shouting at and touching them. I think you are over exaggerating. It's not that bad. Plus, some women like it. I admit there are some desperate, low self-esteem having females that would allow themselves to be picked up on the street like a common hooker. I'm not saying it doesn't happen here and there. But is that the majority of women? No. No, it's not. 
Think about how many years you've been talking to women on the street. Day after day. How many dates have you gotten out of all that, Dante? Well, let's see. There was Lucy, but that girl turned out to be a stalker after she got some of this magic stick, and maybe two others. I can't remember. Stop lying. Your ass remembers. You just realize how stupid this expectation you have really is. Leave women alone on the street. Leave women alone in malls. Leave women alone in parking lots. Leave women alone on buses, trains and in stores. But if I like what I see, and I don't speak up, I may miss an opportunity. That could be my future wife. Stop romanticizing your behavior. You won't die if you don't talk to a stranger. You don't know anything about her, other than what she looks like anyway. Go places and do things that put you into situations where you interact with a woman so you can talk to her. She might be fine and have a psycho boyfriend or ex-husband, or five kids by miscellaneous stray fools. And here you are all mesmerized and hypnotized by some ass. Well I guess I just never thought about it from the woman's perspective. I was just trying to meet some new people and talk to some women. The problem is the setting, dude. Imagine someone bigger and stronger than you getting in your personal space just because they feel like it. It's bullying. And when you say something to ask them to step back or move out of your way, they yell at you and call you bitch and ugly when they are the one in the wrong violating you. Such losers. It seems like from the woman's perspective that a lot of black men really don't like black women that much. Is that what you are telling me? Well it sure seems that way. We can't say it is anything about dating a woman or appreciating her beauty or anything respectful either. I've seen 45 or 50 year old men hitting on 13 year old middle school girls. There are men in their teens making nasty comments to women old enough to be their mothers. Grown men touching on the bodies of teenage girls, minor children as they walk home from school. It's appalling and disgusting behavior. They act like wild animals and women are prey. I really wish you would stop doing that stuff, Dante. It hurts women to be harassed on the street, Dante. You must understand, if a woman doesn't respond in the way they want us to, or how they like it, we know they may start threatening us, or calling us names. Well hey, up yours buddy. I know that there are some ignorant brothers out here, but most of us aren't like that. So we have magical superpowers and can determine which high miss lady, can I talk to you for a minute is a good one, and which one is a fool? You are trying to make women responsible for male behavior. We are not. We don't want you bothering us when we are minding our own business on the streets of America. Some sisters are rude. They go off on me for no reason. I asked a woman this morning if she had a man, and she told me that it was none of my fucking business. What in the world would you ask a complete stranger that for? Even if she isn't involved with anyone right now, do you think she wants some man with tired ass lines that roams the streets trying to pick up stray booty? Are you kidding me right now? Look Nte, black women just want to be treated with respect in public and at home. Black men put women in the position of having to defend and protect ourselves constantly. Why are you all either trying to touch us, insult us, curse at us, or be aggressive with us? What is that all about? Then you get upset when black women want to date men of other races that do treat us with respect. I don't really know sister girl. I can only speak for myself. I admit that there are a lot of knuckleheads out here that mess it up for the rest of us. But I guess what I thought was me being nice isn't really cool. There is a time and a place to speak up, Dante. But following women in your car down the street, walking behind a complete stranger talking about her body or sex with her, or sitting next to a woman traveling alone on the train when there are dozens of empty seats are bad. All bad. Well when should I speak to a woman in public? I have seen guys with their friends trying to holler at women. I think most of that is posturing and ego. Men spend a lot of time trying to impress their buddies. I know they do, but that's gay. They need all the support and encouragement from their buddies to men up and talk to a woman. Gay. 
Then when they get me inured, they want a clown. They could have just shut up and left her alone. They could have avoided that problem of humiliation by shutting their pie hole. What? Woman you are something else. But tell me, when is it good to speak up and talk to a woman in public? Is there ever a good time? Sure. If you see the same woman on the same train day after day, at some point she will smile at you voluntarily, without you asking for one, and then you can approach. Men need to learn the signals of a woman's interest. There are probably women in your daily life that would welcome your approach. But if you don't get any such signal from a woman, leave her the hell alone. Hey I get it now. Thanks for letting me know the deal sister girl. Ladies, if I have offended anyone watching this video, please accept my apologies. I hope you'll take this information and share it with your male friends, Dante. This has been another Adventures of Sister Girl video by advice columnist Deborah Cooper. She is the author of the hilarious dating guide Suck a Free Love, which is available for purchase on Amazon.com. Find hundreds of Deborah's articles and advice on her blog at survivingdating.com. See you next time.